Scorpio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a love reading for you for March 2021. We'll do a nine card tarot spread, but before we jump into tarot, we'll take three romance angels and three moonology, just to give an indication of direction the reading's heading. Um, as for the tarot itself, left hand side is going to be orange, right hand side is going to be the person you're dealing with or going to be dealing with, and then down the middle uh, there will be a combination. We'll take current energies, how you feel about each other, action towards each other, and then we'll have a blockage, advice, and potential outcome. We'll clarify all that and get a message out there. Um, energies can switch, so if you resonate more with the right hand side, you can reverse the roles as you see fit. Uh, thank you for the like, share, subscribe, comments, all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated. Um, it's not going to resonate for every single Scorpion, so do check out your replacements, your Moon, Rising, Venus in particular would be a love reading. And uh, private readings are available, description box has all the details. Okay, Scorpio, your romance angel is true love, beautiful. This is the romance of a lifetime. Your person, we have, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I almost feel that's a message for you as well. So this true love that could be coming in could be completely different from what you're used to. And between the both of you, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Interesting. So I kind of feel like you're going to be... It's saying it influenced... Um, I kind of feel like it's in a good way. Uh, there is reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. Um, so it could be somebody from your past. But I, I don't know. I kind of feel like if it's somebody from your past, it's not like an XX. This is just somebody from your past returning to your life. Could you know, It could be a friend. It could be an acquaintance. Somebody, that's, somebody that you've crossed paths with. Um... But I almost feel like your spiritual path is is your is what brings you together. It's like um, not your usual type in the slightest, but you'll have so much in common um, that it'll just feel amazing. Lovely, it's good. Yeah, looking good. True love, we have your commitment is being tested. Interesting. Keep an open mind. The answers you need are coming. Gemini energy. Your commitment is being tested. I kind of feel like this is... <laughs> the commitment is the belief in true love. I kind of feel like you've fallen out of touch with that. It's, it's, it's the universe saying, you know, trust us, type of thing. Religious factors we have. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini, so very strong Gemini energy so far. Bottom of the deck, look at the bigger picture. Okay, that could be a message for me there, saying reconciliation could just be past lives. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be as well. Uh, love, this could be reconciling with parents, this could be reconciling with a sibling, uh, your children, however it is. Something that's a friend, something that you've fallen out of. Um, so that aspect could and could actually be nothing to do with the reading. Just somebody that's going to be reaching out for reconciliation. Okay, let's see what we've got.
Okay, the Two of Cups, the Tower, and the Lovers again, Gemini Energy. I can't, someone's had a realisation about something here. Um, you know, the, the, the Reconciliation card could, could also indicate the Three of Cups. Um, you know, something like a, somebody from your past, but like a, maybe a friend that's kind of seeing things differently now. Maybe they were pretty, not necessarily cold, but um, I'm almost getting like a bluntness from them in the past, especially if you wanted something more. Uh, like I say, or vice versa. So maybe they were just like, no, I just want to be friends. But I kind of feel like that um, there's been an enlightenment of some kind. So your current energy is the Two of Pentacles. And that's right on top of the true love and then your commitment is being tested. So I kind of feel like you're up and down whether you actually believe in love anymore. How you feel about your person is the chariot. Somebody strong, somebody that takes charge. It has great willpower, has great sort of stamina, just like uh, getting things done. Um, There's a real balanced aspect about this person. You know, the chariot, we've got two powerful horses peeling either way. It takes somebody very, very powerful to, you know, rein that in and keep that carriage upright. Your action towards them is the Hierophant. It is a kind of commitment, but I kind of feel like we're linking this with that spiritual path. You're just going to continue on the spiritual path because there's some sort of enlightenment and, um, and heart chakra dealings going on with them at the moment but there's love coming in there's stability their current energy is justice so you can be dealing with a libra um but this is somebody that's i'm more putting the like the sword uh the sword of bluntness maybe i almost get somebody here that like i mentioned earlier with the friendship type of thing They've always been in two minds. I'm looking at the Gemini card, you know, the twins. They've always been in two minds. Maybe because you're not their usual type as well. Or they're one that don't like to mix friendship any further, just in case. It's like they didn't want to rock they didn't want to rock the scales. I'm almost getting like someone that's very much fear based, you know, they really need to work on some um, some lower chakras very heavily fear based in, in the sense of um, always looking at the uh, like for example two friends that kind of, kind of deeply care about each other however you know one wants to go further the other one's thinking well if you know when it goes wrong um, it's going to ruin the friendship instead of thinking how amazing would this be it's always looking at that negative I kind of feel like this person's fear driven in that sense so stays that at that level of not not budging because of that how they feel about you though is the page of cups I'm looking at the the heart chakra opening with the the energy coming out of it here and um, they're having a realization I feel because their action towards you is the hangman which is a pause but again I'm looking at the green of the heart chakra I'm looking at the the yellow of the solar plexus. This is merging now, it's really going to open up their heart chakra. And when they do that, they start healing. And when they do that, more enlightenment because the blockage is the sun. It's just not enough enlightenment at the moment. And as a blockage of the sun card, maybe some of you are not getting enough vitamin D. So if you, especially in this country, if you can't uh, get outside and actually see sunshine, I think we only see it about three times a year, um, you know look at some sort of supplements or at least change your diet into sort of the the healthy greens that you know that really have to have the photosynthesis to really grow that type of thing it's gaining that energy from it uh, the advice is the knight of cups to offer this love i kind of feel like that's them um that need to because they're the ones that are going through this heart chakra opening but again and you know energies can cross uh, the outcome is the knight of pentacles 
So the love's going to get offered, and there's going to be commitment, stability, forward movement, patience. Um, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but you can depend on that Pentacles. You know, they can p depend on that knight. Especially with the Two of Cups in the Tower here, I genuinely think somebody's had some sort of um, epiphany of some kind. Also, your person could be going through a spiritual awakening with this sun card as the blockage. They could be very new to it. I don't think you are. You're continuing on your journey. Looking good. Strength and the Four of Swords and the King of Wands. And Death, there you are, Scorpio, showing up. I kind of feel like you're showing up as, as the King of Wands. And don't get caught up in genders, the King of Wands is just somebody very, very confident, very, you know, a go-getter, an entrepreneur, that type of thing. I kind of feel like you've gained, you're gaining your strength after um, a brief period of healing, of rest. So your current energy is the two of pentacles with the five of cups. You have fallen out of love, fallen out of the thought of love um, because of past disappointments. It's been a very much of an up and down sort of uh, situation here. You could have been uh, overly an analyzing with the two of pentacles here uh, of possibly a reconciliation with somebody from your past, but I kind of feel like this two of pentacles, uh, this two of cups here behind you. Is, is more suited for you and again I, it's an acquaintance of some kind I feel not necessarily but it's, I'm kind of uh, kind of seeing I'm kind of seeing some sort of friendship of some kind um, your, um, how you feel about them is the chariot with the queen of cups so, you have love for them as well, without question, I think, here. I kind of feel like you've always had love for them. May never, may never have acted upon it. Maybe you've always just looked at the it being friendship, never realising that there's potential for more. Your action towards them is a hierophant with the Five of Swords. Uh, at the moment, you're turning your back on... On, on love um, because you're pursuing some sort of path whether that be spiritual however it is um, it doesn't have to have to be I kind of feel like it is because it's levelling up heading up the stairs towards enlightenment for yourself your person's energy is the justice with the ten of cups so they could be going through some sort of like legal battle there could be break up, a breakdown of a marriage of some kind possibly um, there's definitely some sort of a uh, a dissolvement, I feel, of a family unit, possibly. How they feel about you is the Page of Cups with the Three of Swords. So again, I kind of feel like there's this there's opening up of the Heart Chakra, but there's this part of them that's like always looking at the negative. It's like, it's as if, it's as if they see everything with you. They see this Ten of Cups with you. But there's that fear that's instilled in them that they just assume because every other relationship that they've had 
never worked out that it's going to be the same for you and they can't go through that with you but all that he's doing is just keeping them stuck in low vibrational energy because it's fear based their action towards you is the hangman with the queen of pentacles so this heart chakra is opening you feel like home to them and they're going to offer it I kind of feel they're going to get more grounded they're going to see things uh, very very clearly especially when that heart chakra starts opening Interestingly, the sun and clarified by the magician, I'm almost getting this like it's like you have the power to help them, help them see the light. You could be an energy worker of some kind, um, or at least have the tools to do it. So it's, I'm almost wanting to say that like you have the tools to help them awaken. However, that fits. Your advice is the Knight of Cups with the um, Ancestor card. I kind of feel like it's your uh, your guides here saying, um, if if you're new to the channel, I apologise. Two extra cards uh, came in the deck. I left them in there. They were purely for artwork, but I left them in there because they spoke to me. One was True Love, and one was my ancestor grandparents that type of card. I kind of feel like um, your ancestors have got you back through this. It's going to be a slow process, but it's going to be an exciting one as well, because I feel like this. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Wands. Page, Page of Wands is a messenger, messenger of good news, of um, um, excitement. So there's going to be some sort of shift of energy here where excitement is going to come back. Uh, in your work as well, whatever this creative project is, is going to be, it's going to be beneficial uh, for some of you. But in regards to love, um, this person needs to continue opening up their heart chakra. They need to really get out of this fear-based um, mindset at the moment. You have all the tools to possibly help them, whether that be if you do energy work yourself, or whether that be your manifestations, you know, to uh, send them love and light, you know. You don't need any black magic or anything like that. You just need to, you know, you just you need to send your love and light. Um, you're continuing on your spiritual path, and I kind of feel like your guides are saying that you know the love will come. Just things need to twist and turn before they can uh, mold together. Okay, Scorpio, you could be dealing with Libra, those strong Gemini, uh, Gemini Virgo with the Magician, Cancer. Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Philoscorpio possibly, Aries, Gemini again, but there's swords, there's cups, there's wands and there's pentacles, everybody's here. Okay, look after yourself uh, Scorpio, um, thank you for following the channel, let me know if it resonates and I'll see you soon.